Hello, this is Rainer. Today we're going to be doing the ICA on the Cabin Fever remake. Here we have the poster, and isn't this lovely? Uh, it re it uh, uh, puts me in mind of a uh, bearded lady with uh, running mascara. I don't know if that was the idea. Uh, this pointless reboot of the Cabin Fever franchise serves no purpose whatsoever apart from making a few cruddy shekels as very little of value has changed since the original. Furthermore, most of the offbeat humor that was present in the first film is disappointingly missing from this comparatively straight-faced and innocuous remake. Most disappointingly, Deputy Winston, the inscrutable party guy played by Giuseppe Andrews in the 2002 version, has been replaced by a scar-faced bisexual deputy played by Louise Linton. Curiously, like the first film, Cabin Fever 16 also fails to exploit the comedic potential latent in the suggested premise of whether or not a character could survive a horror movie while only subsisting on beer. The leg shaving scene is perhaps more horrific than in Eli Roth's original, but throw in a generic cast and some unappealing tattoos on one of the women and what the viewer has is a passable but decidedly underachieving horror outing. Three out of five stars, the ideological content analysis indicates that cabin fever is Luddite or technology skeptical. One vacationer mistakes his video game experience for years of training for the handling of a firearm. Karen, played by Gage Golightly, preoccupied by her cell phone, has to be reminded to enjoy the outdoors. Cabin Fever is, uh, I would argue, anti-gay, furnishing publicity for an abnormal lifestyle but presenting a comically grotesque example of a lesbian in law enforcement. Cabin Fever is anti-redneck, or we could say anti-white, offering the typically creepy depictions of backwoods European Americans. The film fails to reference any other racist parasitic roles in the world economy, but does refer to hillbilly vampires. One rustic local is dubbed Deliverance. A faded American flag visible at the Redneck's dilapidated gas station would seem to connect white trash with the idea of America's decline, possibly in connection with supposed wars for oil. Finally, Cabin Fever is anti-gun. Bert, played by Dustin Ingram, the least mature of the vacationers, brings an assault rifle and, of course, accidentally shoots a man, setting the plot into motion. Uh, this has been the ICA on Cabin Fever. Leave a comment uh, and expect more videos to be forthcoming.